This has been a roller coaster for Carson Wentz, not just this season. He's dealt with injury. We're talking about this guy as an MVP potentially a couple years ago. Rex, do you think this is the right decision for the Eagles? No, I don't, Sam. I mean, you just talked about it there. Three years ago, this this guy was would have won the MVP had he stayed healthy. And you bring in an offensive guru and, and a quarterback, you know, a uh, guy that did a great job with uh, – uh, uh, with Justin Herbert it, with the Chargers. So it's like, man, I was excited to see it. Mort talked about it. I thought his fundamentals were the thing that I was concerned with. Like, you can get that with, with coaching, you can get that fixed. This guy, a young franchise type quarterback, you just don't find. I spent 30 years coaching, I never had a franchise type quarterback, and you're just going to let him walk out the door. And, and I get it. Yes, he struggled mightily last year, but I thought it was more fundamentals and a poor offensive line, as more talked about, than it was anything else. And you know, and now this, isn't this coach select, coaching selection in Sirianni supposed to be for Carson? I'm, it's like that's, that's, what I'm it's like, that's the head that's, scratcher about it's it. Like we're bringing, yeah, go ahead. You go and hire Nick Sirianni. It's basically like you're hiring. Uh, Frank Reich Jr. Right. Carson Wentz's favorite coach of all time is probably Frank Reich. So you go hire Sirianni. It's basically the closest thing you can get to to what he wants. So you're thinking you're repairing the relationship. Otherwise, why wouldn't you keep your Super Bowl winning head coach in Doug Peterson? I get it. There's other issues. I think the only thing that really makes sense to me is what you just said, Sam, about, hey, wait a sec. Matthew Stafford he went for what? Like, well, we have Jalen Hurts. We actually liked what we saw to him. And if we can get a king's ransom for this trade, listen, I was I, this whole this whole offseason, I've said there's no way Carson Wentz is going anywhere. There's no way he's going anywhere. Yeah. I, I would be shocked. And, but when Adam says it and Mort says it, you know it's going to happen. So I'm sitting <laughs> over here like, this makes no sense. And now you're going to lose Wentz and you're going to lose Doug Peterson. I'll just say this. The pressure will be on Philly because of this. this to, in, in my mind, this is a risky move, losing both of those yeah, guys. Yeah, and last year, let's face it, because you mentioned Mort and Adam. Last year, I'm like, there's no way in heck Tom Brady's going anywhere. And he's gone. <laughs> yeah. He's going to lead his team to a Super Bowl. I just thought it was going to be the Patriots, not the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But they were right. And we've seen some crazy things. Can I say one thing crazy about Carson things. Wentz, though, is that there are so many coaches around the league who really believe, like, I know Carson Wentz struggled last year, but they look at him, they've seen his previous tape, and they believe in themselves so much as a coach. You mentioned it, uh, Rex. They believe, hey, you They'll know what, him. with what They'll I know yeah. and with his talent and his, if he's coachable, I can get him back on track. And so, therefore, I could see a, a team giving up more than you might expect because he, and Frank Reich would be one of those guys. I bet Chicago might feel that way. Yeah. If Drew Brees retires, New Orleans might feel that way. There are teams out there that feel confident that they could get it, and, get and, it back on track. And who says – from what happened in Philadelphia, I thought it was a competition thing. We, yeah. There might be some things behind closed doors with, that we may not know. But who says that this young Carson Wentz can't go to another organization, maybe hobbled by an injury, that there's another uh, a concern or, or, or another uh, a competition question of another team? I think for me, looking at Carson Wentz and the Philadelphia Eagles, I thought he put that Coach Peterson was put in the bind because when you see Jalen Hurts, uh, come in at quarterback, you've seen the team uplifted to a, to the next level. So when Carson Wentz started this, hey, I want out of town, I want out of town, me as a player looking from the outside looking in, I said, what, you don't want to compete for your job? And that's what I'm looking at. So if Carson Wentz is able to go to another team, hey, there's a backup quarterback and there's a third string quarterback too. Yeah, yeah. Hey, he could be hobbled by an injury, the backup quarterback could come in, now we're doing this back over. So I think from an emotional standpoint, whoever gets Carson Wentz needs to bring him back down and just let him know, hey man, this is the National Football League, this is a business, and you're going to have to go out there and compete for your job sooner or later. Sam, you started this discussion asking Rex if the Eagles are making the right decision. I don't think it's the Eagles' choice. I don't think it's the organizational choice anymore when it comes to the quarterbacks. I, I kind of disagree. I know, but that. if the quarterbacks want out, they can get out. They're just, it's being proved. All right, Stafford wants out. All right, uh, Wentz got out. Deshaun, all of these guys, because that's the one place where you don't want discontent as an organization. Yeah. You don't want it at the quarterback position because you can play hardball. You can miss any future offseason thing if we have them, any OTAs, any mini camps. You can play hardball, and then you'll put pressure to where the players are like, what are we doing? He wants him out. Get him out of here. Can we move on? These are the positions. There have been players, Jalen Ramsey, high-profile cornerback. They have, they're starting to show 
players. There's more power. If you want out, you can do it if you do it right. I think part of the reason that the players feel that they have more power is they're making more money than they've ever made. And so some of these guys, if they do have their bank accounts full, they're they're sitting in a place of more of you know more power, like more leverage, if you will. I, I, I agree. I think it is trending that way. It is very new though. We haven't seen it at that position. We've seen it at other positions. We haven't yet. Maybe maybe the tide is turning. It is going to be wild to see. I know they mentioned Chicago. If he ends up reunited with Nick Foles in Chicago, maybe they're just trying to get Super Bowl vibes. But, 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 right would, now. would it make sense, like in that scenario, just hypothetically, if he got traded to Chicago, would, wouldn't Philly want Nick Foles back? I mean, the guy's got think a statue the statue's there. out there. You yeah. Why would Foles sense. go back? We wouldn't have a choice. I mean, I think Nick Sirianni is a guy. Like we mentioned, Frank Reich Jr. He's kind of in that family. Like there are quality coaches out there. I mean, sometimes you just need a fresh start. I mean, I can even remember with a, with a, I had a good relationship with Mike Holmgren, but there were times where he was the play caller, I was on the, the quarterback, and we weren't necessarily on like speaking terms. And what was the result of that? Very bad quarterback play. So like we luckily <laughs> thanks to Mrs. So Holmgren, like we pieced that Why together and it so worked sensitive? out. I'm just saying. Why are you listen, so sensitive? Listen. They're just trying to win, Teddy. <laughs> That's what it's about. They're trying to win. The crazy thing is if he is traded, that means from that 2016 draft class, the number one overall pick in Jared Goff and number two overall pick in Carson Wentz. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.